I made this, but it felt unfinished. So I made this, a version for each free background I found on Clip Studio's library. The transition from this to these would have required adapting each color and value to the background. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is working hard. However, I prefer to work smart. And thankfully, digital art has many ways to do it. In this video, I'll show you how I use blending modes to finish my work and give a single drawing four different moods. As a reminder, blending modes are an effect you can add to a layer to change how the colors blend with colors on lower layers. There are 27 of them on Clip Studio. For a better understanding, I divided the explanation into three steps. The first one was to select an appropriate background. Now for laziness issues, I wanted to pick one and not create one. Then for copyright purposes, I decided to pick in CSP's library. So I went to all material, color pattern, background, and picked this one. The second step is a crucial one. Pick a color that will match the background. For that, I created a new layer above the background. Then I picked a color from the background itself with the eyedropper and filled the layer with it. Then I went to the blending mode options and chose multiply. The multiply mode multiplies and combine the color of the bottom layer and the current layer. After combining, the colors will become darker than the original color. This blending mode will allow me to adapt the visual of each color and value on my drawing to the background without having to change any of them. And that is the whole purpose of why we're doing this. Using a mask layer, I selected a light source, then erased some part of the colors I just added to give a light shadow effect. I could have stopped here. The drawing has a background and a matching foreground, but we can still do better. And that's how it came to the third step, adding details. See the light I just created? I wanted it to pop even more, so I created another layer on top, selected the parts I wanted to accentuate, and picked a slightly lighter color than the previous one. Fill tool, and there we have it. Now the magical part. Go to the blending mode menu and select color dodge. Color dodge makes the color of the bottom layer becomes brighter and reduces the contrast. Now reduce the opacity to liken and watch it glow. It's glowy, sure, but we can still do even better. On another layer, pick the same previous color, select add glow on the blending mode menu Reduce the opacity to 50 and with a soft brush, cast a soft glow on the character. On three other layers, I chose the Glow Dodge blending mode, picked the flower's yellow color and proceeded to add leaves with the leaf brush on decorations, as well as rays of sunshine with a mix of watercolor brushes and running color spray. And with this, the feeling is complete and my work finally feels finished. The three other versions followed the exact same steps as previously explained. However, as you may have noticed, the result is completely different. 
one method, three blending modes, and four different results. This is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any question, drop it in the comments below and I'll make sure to reply as soon as possible. Now I'll leave you with the time lapse of this very drawing. Thanks again and see you soon.